Mapoto, ano bururuka. Did you notice the prison bars that go up as the mother flies in? And wait, is that Frieza? And why these specific pictures? These are the 26 hidden details you might have missed in Panzi. Stand a chance to win $800 worth of airtime. And a candy hamper from Candy Culture if you can find details number 25 and 26. Stay tuned for clues at the end of the video. Now, before we proceed, we encourage you to watch the official full video to avoid spoilers. The video is available on Facebook, YouTube, or our website, kikikuniverse.co.zw forward slash panzi. Now, let's find out what you might have missed in this video, be it in terms of visuals by the director or actual wordplay from Hey Hey Preacher. Let's go. Panze, Number 1. The opening scene foreshadows the relationship state of the couples. Foreshadowing is an indication of a future event or things to come. Now, the first scene of the video does more than just introduce the characters to the viewers. The director intentionally had the characters show up in a specific order, that is, Hei Hei, his girlfriend, then the married couple, the husband, then the wife. And these are the two couples in the video. However, there's more to it. Notice he and his girlfriend flow in the same direction, but the husband and the wife are going in opposite directions. Foreshadowing the relationship states, he and his girlfriend are in love and things are going well. In terms of the relationship itself, they are flowing, they are going in the same direction, but there is friction in the other relationship and we see them going in opposite directions. Number 2. He Hei's Room Aside from the disc and the bed, the room really doesn't have much in it. This was done on purpose. It's symbolizing how there's nothing else left for him inside the house and he'd rather be outside. Number 3. The disc. The disc was put by the window to serve two purposes. Firstly, showing us that Hei Hei was writing the things that he was seeing from his window, like the fighting couple or the kid who plays outside late at night. He is writing what he is seeing. Two. Symbolically, windows are often used to symbolize liberation and hope. Hei Hei can't wait to escape his home and go outside to the world so he always sits by the window waiting for the day we're all told we can go outside. Number 4. The pictures on the disc. If you took time to notice, most of the pictures on Hei Hei's disc are from him performing on stage. This was to show that he misses performing especially because poetry and live performances give him solace. However, those pictures were not just randomly picked, especially these three. This one is from the first time Hei Hei Preacher and the director Kudakoshi Maxwell met. It was at a poetry function that Hei Hei had hosted to celebrate his birthday, selected to commemorate the first time the two met. This one is from the Cake Universe official launch, where Hei Hei was a guest performer, selected to thank Hei Hei for coming through and participating at such an important milestone. And lastly, this one is from the 2019 Dreamstar Talent Show Finals, a salute to Hei Hei's career and cheering him on to keep going forward. Number 5. Emphasis from the camera work. When Hei Hei says, The camera is directly above his head, or his manza so to speak, hammering the point home. Number 6. Mbiro Zemanza. Now, this one is the wordplay itself that Hei Hei crafted. The phrase Mbiro Mbiro de Manza Mafeka is a Shona proverb that translates to the bald head is just the end result. It's coming, it's long predicted, by the shape of the hair. This means that nothing happens all of a sudden. They are often signs that we ignore sometimes. Now, in the context of this poem, he connects that phrase with Iwo Aswak Puruzirwa, creating an image that expresses a foreseen future where he gets old, stuck at home in the absence of his girlfriend's touch. He is simply saying he is afraid of a future where he grows old and alone. Number 7. His Girlfriend Hey, his girlfriend misses him very much. If you pause and zoom in on her phone, you can see that she is listening to a song with the title Mdiwa Wangu, which she plays as she thinks of him. She misses him because they haven't been together for a long time, but it's not only because of the lockdown. Hey, hey and his girlfriend are in fact in different countries. 
Even though the 3D character of the girlfriend was not designed to look like the real life person, they are in fact in different countries. You can see this by the difference in the environments they are in. If you look outside the window in this scene and then look at this one, you can see the different environments. Number 8. More wordplay from Hey Hey. Dindo mazgo akungendini karikoka akasi ya jira kuma sese nokuti kana usipo upenyu wangu ichando dofunga dante kutanga kuri zaino cheme zamsango. But what did he mean by this? And who is Karikoga? There's a Shona proverb which says Zanondoga akasiya jira kuma sese, meaning people who forsake warnings and advice often fall into calamity. Hei had been advised many times to get married, but now because of the lockdown. It might be too late. Who knows when this will end? Who knows if it will end? He regrets delaying and he is saying that if only he had married, he would not be alone during this lockdown. But you see, Heye has a habit of pimping proverbs when he writes poetry. He removed Zanundoga and replaced him with Karikoga because Karikoga is one of his favorite fictional characters from the book Karikoga Gumire Miseve. He always likens himself to that warrior who fights for what he believes in. Also, Karikoga generally translates to someone who is alone. Kari Koga. Now, going back to the phrase, Karikoga Akasia Jirakuma Sese, someone who was dumb enough to get drunk at the beer hall and forget his jacket. Jacket here is symbolizing his girlfriend, who is his warmth. And Masase is a locally made alcohol in Zimbabwe, also known as Kad or Super. Hence, Karikoga Agasia Jirakuma Sese. He regrets delaying to marry now, and now he doesn't have his comforter with him. Number 9. Trouble in the Marriage When the family is shown together, the child has a sad expression. The mother is angry, and the father... The father is concentrating on his phone. Why? Because he's actually having an affair, and that affair is what is ruining the marriage and the peace at home. Number 10. The Fight Scene now, there is so much that happens in this scene. For status, prison bars go up when the mother jumps in, symbolizing that when parents engage in physical violence, homes become prison for children. Also, they resemble the cage matches that are found in wrestling, where to win, contestants must either be the last man standing or escape the cage. But because of the lockdown, the latter option is not viable, meaning it only has to be the last man standing to win. Number 11. The lighting turns red. The overall scene lighting gets dimmer and a red filter is applied to some of the lighting, symbolizing the blood that is shed in these unseen domestic fights. Number 12. The pot. The pot that the mother throws is in fact the same one she had been cooking with, which was still hot and it manages to burn the father's forehead skin off and he starts bleeding. Number 13. The father, the son and Corona. The camera cuts with a flashing transition from the father to the son, father to the son, then son, father Corona. This wasn't just a transition sequence. The cuts were intentionally done this way to show that to the son, the father is his Corona, who is bringing pain and despair to his life. Number 14. The Corona Scene This scene pays homage to one of the director's favorite anime, Dragon Ball Z and is a replica from the opening sequence of the game Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi where a character by the name of Frieza emerges from the fire. So what's the deal? In the story, Frieza is an evil emperor who has conquered the world and the heroes of the show have to defeat him. At that time, Frieza had never been defeated, just like now. Until a cure is found, it seems like the whole world is under Corona's rule. Number 15. Medue Yachiuraya if you notice, two blood drops drip on the screen as he says Veduea to Raya, but it may not have been obvious as the drops were not read. Number 16. Wordplay emphasized by camera work. Hey Hey says, Translating to, as the people that won the 2017 battle by walking, who knew that the twist this time would be we would win it by staying at home, or rather, sitting at home. This is emphasized by first showing the crowd walking, Iruku Famba, and then the camera does a twist transition to Hei sitting 
while writing Akagara Pamba. Hence, the twist this time is we'll win it by staying at home. We'll win it by staying seated at home. Number 17, more wordplay, Kukwesha Mazino. Jakadaro, Tichango Ramba, Tichikwesha Mazino, Momukangwa, Makazara Mavendi, Kurikuzibiri, Rakuparari, Rakuchiwere. Hey, he talks about how people will end up with nothing to eat while trying to stay at home and contain the spread of the virus. A situation where if people go out, they risk dying from corona, but if they stay indoors, they risk dying from hunger as well. Number 18, eating toothpaste. Connected to the last point, the man is eating the toothpaste because he has nothing left to eat, so he might as well eat whatever he can. Number 19. Now, most of you got the word play here by saying He is not only referring to the witches in the next scene, but he is also saying not everyone can afford to work online or run a digital business. Huh? Working online can be referred to in Shona as Kushanda Mumepo. This is shown as we see the lady working on a laptop just before the witches come in. So he is saying not everyone can work online during lockdown and not everyone is a witch, of which witches are not restricted by physical lockdowns to do their evil bidding. Number 20. The lady actually sees the witches. The lady is working so late at night that she's up around the time where witches are rumored to move. That is why she looks up as she hears the laughter of the witches before they come on the screen. Number 21. The boy with the Njenjere. The Njenjere is a homemade toy that some Zimbabwean children play with where they control the wheel with a stick, often racing against each other or simply driving it themselves for amusement. But the boy shown in the scene playing with it isn't only there to illustrate Hehe's words. He is playing with it at that hour outside when most people are locked up in their homes and the streets are empty. Safer for him is there will be no risk of getting infected by the virus from anyone. But also, he has the cover of the night to his side, making it easier for him to play outside and hide in the case that he encounters patrolling armed forces. Number 22, it's up to God now. The final words of the poem are A prayer asking God to intervene and the camera enforces this by looking up to the heavens. Number 23, shout out to Swish Says. Swish Says Photography is the photography brand of a mutual friend of both Kuda and Hehe. He was the official photographer at the Keiki Universe official launch. He is the one who took this picture and he is also the one who took the picture of Hehe performing at his birthday poetry bash. And guess what? This picture? A portrait of his as well. This was just a subtle shout out to Swish for excellent work and to encourage him to keep going. Number 24, lighting. The director uses lighting to not only control or convey the mood of the scene, but also show progression and time of day. When the story starts, everything is all nice and bright as he talks about the good times and how he misses them, how he misses his girlfriend, her touch, and the beautiful dreams he has of going outside and all of that. But as the story starts to get more intense and the subject becomes grimmer, the lighting starts transitioning from that bright and sunny feeling and starts getting darker with the red tint until it's just black and dark. Lighting is also used to show progression and time of day. It starts off at around 4 p.m. and gradually time passes to sunset and then nightfall. Now, we know we promised you 26 hidden details. Now it's up to you to find number 25 and number 26. Number 25 is between these scenes. Number 26 is between these scenes. First person to find both details wins. Bring your answers and comment in the comment section. If you want more content, then visit our website for behind the scenes footage. An interview with Hey Hey on what inspired him to write the poem and much, much more. Follow us on social media, like, comment, and share. 
We are KKQ Universe. <laughs>